Hi guys, I'm back with another Plan With Me video. This week I'm going to be using some stickers from Sparkle Pop Paper. This is the Spring Kawaii Fox layout. These were a print, uh, printable layout. You buy the PDF and print them out. I already cut out the bits and pieces so I don't have to worry about that while I'm doing the layout. I thought it was really, really cute and I'm going to use this and then I'm going to cut down this piece of paper for my weekend because as you, if you've watched my other videos, you know I like to cover up the weekend and this week is, is going to be uh, May. So here's my happy planner. It is getting, you know, bigger and bigger with each week. I have my homemade cover on it because I just throw it in my school bag. Yeah. Now I had planned to do a plan with me of last week, but halfway through recording it, just didn't happen anymore so I never did post that this was last week's I was really happy with that or this week actually because this is Saturday the 30th right now so then what we're gonna be working on right now is Monday May 2nd to Sunday May 8th so I'm gonna pull those out and get started Yay. I damaged the paper while I was taking it out for the monthly view. I'm not very happy with myself. But you know that kind of stuff happens. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to start. I think I should probably start by cutting down the candle part. And it's three by seven and a half ish. So I'm going to take out my paper cutter, which I have right here. It's just a Fiskars. I know some people complain that they don't like that it, they think it cuts wonky. I've never really had problems with that, but I mean, I'm not looking for a perfectly straight cut every single time. A little over three. And a little over seven and a half. Hopefully I don't have an issue with this like I did with my sticker in my last video. Cause you know, that was awkward. <laughs> Yay, fixed it. Alright, loud noises. There we go. Now I'm going to use a tape runner. Actually, I'll probably just use my ATG gun here uh, to attach that because I have little tape runners that I got at Dollarama. But this is handy, so I might as well use this. Apply that tape. And then put this on the weekend. Take some of that extra tape off. And let's try to get this as straight as possible because, you know, we want to make it work. Yay. Alright, so, now one of the really cool things about this kit is it actually comes with cover-ups for the days, which is something I've never gotten to play with before. So I'm very excited about that. I'm not going to start there. I think I will start with, hmm, maybe my middles parts here because, you know, my daily stuff uh, and I'm gonna be using the full boxes for that but I want to make sure that on days that I actually have stuff going on I don't use the picture boxes as much so I know I have something on Wednesday I don't know <laughs> okay let's see I'm going to use the orange on Wednesday I'm gonna use this little guy on Tuesday I'm gonna use this little guy on Monday because I can always write around them if I need to. And then I want to do... Friday tends to be fairly busy. Hmm. I could just... Let's see. Do that. And then do that. Yeah, that works. And then I'm probably going to use one of these guys over here. I'll have to cover that a little bit. One of these guys down here. Maybe I'll cut him out. We'll see. So let's apply those. Now the thing with having, you know, cut them out by hand is they're not going to be perfect. So they're going to look crooked. And honestly, whatever. They're going to look cute regardless, I think. Just line those up nice and easy. Mm, easy. Right. Now as for headers, they didn't have a work header. So I'm going to have the today headers here, and then I'm going to, there's blank headers, and I'm going to put work, and then 
I'm going to do what I can with the lists because they have some things that I probably wouldn't normally do, but I'll change them into other things and that'll work for me. Yep. And then we're going to go this guy on Thursday. This guy on Friday. Woohoo! Okay, so I might as well put my weekend banner on while I'm here. Oh, I probably should have done orange. Oh well, it's fine. I don't care. I'll put that here for the weekend. It's really. Oh, maybe not push it down all the way though, because that's probably what's a bad idea. I'll put that on some sticker paper. This is why I always keep a piece of used sticker backer hanging around when I'm doing these things because half the time I don't know what I'm doing, so just stick that on there. Let's put on our today headers. So that's these little guys, and they're gonna go in here. And I think when I printed this, it must have printed a little bigger than it was supposed to be because these things are huge. And it said it was for the Happy Planner when I bought it, so I don't know what's going on there. Probably my printer settings. I'm not an expert at this. I just do what I can. Let's go to today's. Try to keep it as lined up as possible, because this line, would I would like it to be as straight as possible. This line doesn't need to be because I'm covering it. Yay, logic. Woot. Now we'll do Thursday. And then Friday. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Probably not too much. Because there are some habit tra trackers that come with this, but they're very little. There's also like the water tracker, the, the, the hydration tracker. I'm not, I don't really track that. Maybe I'll do it this week, see how it goes. I don't know. And I'll put one of the cute little guys up there for sure. Because they're just so cute. There, excellent. Okay, now, hmm, let's do the thingy bobs here. So I'm going to use blue one here, an orange one here, a light orange one here. So then a blue one here, and an orange one here. Yay, okay. And line them up at the bottom because I know that my header will cover a little square of the space that's left. So line them up at the bottom and then as much as possible with the side. Now the only thing that I'm actually missing header wise is to mark. And I'm just going to use one of the blank ones for that I think. Because there are seven blank ones and I only need five. At least I think there are seven blank ones. So I'll probably do that. I'll do, they have to clean, to buy, mm, let's see, oh, it comes with prayers, to do, to buy, goals, and to clean. So I'll probably use those four, and then I'll make to mark with that one, because, you know, that's sort of how I do this. That's how we do, this is how we do, do. Oh, I just realized. Where am I going to put my food for the week? Hmm, I might have to do it here. Oh, I could just do that the way I've done it in the past. Okay, good. So we're going to start off with to mark, because that's where probably the most important thing I keep track of, even though I don't do it every week when I'm supposed to. Yeah, I'm an awesome teacher. Okay. And then we'll get to clean. And then to do, because that can just be whatever I need things I need to do over the course of the week. Yep. 
Yep. Mm, to buy, this is a big one this week because I actually have to go out and get some stuff for school for the grade eights who are starting sewing. Well, they started sewing last week or two weeks ago now. And I have to buy a whole bunch of supplies. It's my last school shopping trip of the year, so I'm pretty hyped about that. It's not that I don't like school shopping, it's that I don't drive, so it's really helpful. Oh, I didn't put this guy down. So it's actually really helpful if I don't, you know, if I have it done and I don't have to worry about going shopping. Because then I have to figure out how I'm going to transport all, oh, uh oh. All that stuffing. Oh, come on. Mm. Yes. I'm an amazing person. There we go. No. Oh. There, that's better. And we'll put goals. These foxes are so cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the headers for for work. They're just the blank ones, like the one here. And then I think I'm gonna use these little half check boxes up here for what I have to get done each day. And then leave the rest blank for when I have things I need to do. So these I'm going to line up with the top. Or do I want to line them up? Let's put the Monday sticker on and see. I think I want to line them up at the top. Because this Monday sticker lines up with this. Yeah, so this needs to line up with that. Everything's a little wonky. Oh, can you see my head? Probably. Oh, well, whatever. Hair's clean. It's not like you're going to see anything weird. Where are you? <laughs> so at school, as I teach grade 7s and 8s, and I teach sewing and I teach health, I actually, about a month or a month and a half ago, I had a kid come to me and be like, Oh my gosh, is that a happy planner? And I was like, how do you know what a happy planner is? She's like, I've always wanted one. Nah, nah, nah. And then she, you know, she wanted to see how I was decorating it. And I was like, eh, it's not that great. And then the kids have access to my YouTube channel because I use stuff on there that I actually um, do for school. And she found my planning videos. And then she bought a happy planner. And I was like, you know what? Uh, I had gone to a Toronto meetup where we did a swap, and then when the ladies found out that I had been considering maybe doing a um, planner club at my school, because I had been considering that, they gave me all their extra stuff that no, that no one else wanted in the swap, so I brought it for the kids, and now every time I have grade 7 lunch, I invite the girls, or well they're all girls now, but I invite the kids in to uh, come and play in my room to decorate their agendas they all have school agendas and actually the neat thing is a whole bunch of them bought happy planners and when they did the periscope for the teacher planner uh, um the first one back in march or yeah it must have been march was when we were having our first planner group meetup and it was so funny because i got the notification on periscope and they're like you have to watch it so i watched it with them which was really cute and they're like you have to get this miss goxon you have to get this and then on the 25th, I actually ordered it, even though I don't order things from the States with shipping over $10. And the shipping was pretty much the same price as the Happy Planner. Ugh, it's gross. But anyways, that's on its way. It should be here hopefully next week. I bought the Teacher Planner. I bought the Teacher Planner accessory kit. And I bought all of the little... Uh, sticker books they released so I love their sticker books I bought through I bought the two sticker books and the washi book so I will probably be doing a very excited video at some point next week where I show you all that I don't know when because I don't know when it's gonna be here uh, I've already just recently done my mini happy mail haul video for the stickers and um, stamps that I got from uh, love Cynthia those were amazing and I'm looking forward to using those. Obviously, I'm not using this, the washi here. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to do a card video, maybe. Be. It's not something I've done yet. But I have to play around with the stamps a little bit before I can make a card with them. So we'll see. We will see about that. So we've got our day stickers up. And they look pretty good. I like that. So now I need... 
I'm going to put these guys in for marking because I think we need a little more color. So I'm going to put a blue one here. And an orange one. Here. And then a blue one. And then a blue and then an orange. Just so that it's sort of the opposite of what comes below it. I don't know if there's rhyme or reason to me doing that. I just kind of like the way that looks better than all orange or all blue. I'm not actually a huge orange fan, but I thought these guys were so cute I had to buy it. And I believe it was on sale when I bought it, so it was only a couple of Canadian dollars. Which is even cheaper for those of you who are in the States. put our weekend sticker on now I think yep so let's lay that down here oh it's gonna be even more that way don't want to cover up where it says Sunday there we go so there's the weekend hmm let's do this put this over it's not gonna show through Nope, it's fine. Good. Let's do the big one. This is the one I'll screw up, obviously. Boom. That's so satisfying. Taking the like that. I mean, I'm not too worried about keeping it straight because there really isn't. It's not cut straight, so who cares? There we go. And that looks pretty good. And now I have, I have my todays, my chickpeas. Oh, I gotta write that in. I'll do that after. I mean, do I want to put this guy here? I should probably put this over here. Cut this in half. And then put it on either side so the purple doesn't show. Yeah, let's be sneaky. So it's not wide enough, but if I cut it in half, or long enough, I guess. Depends on which way you're looking at width and length. I'm really bad at directions and things like that. Is it wide or long? I don't know. It's this way or this way. Is it left or right? It's that way. Well, telling your husband to turn that way while he's driving isn't very helpful. So I need to learn to get my lefts and rights properly in my brain, which is something that I have to work on. So when someone goes, turn left, I'll be like, uh, that's that way. Now my only thing is this particular guy is really cute, but he doesn't really match any of the other colors, so I think I might use this one. Yeah, let's use that one. Maybe I'll give this guy to one of my students to use. Hey, if you're watching this and you're one of my students and you want that sticker, comment below. Wow, I sound like such a YouTube person. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So this is the sticker I was talking about. Mm, he's cute, but he doesn't really go with my particular layout. So there's that. Now this is going to be a busy weekend because Tim's away. This We've got a lot of things going on here. So, I should probably put some stuff there. Let's see. I have... Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to use. Maybe I could use these for what... No, those are... Mm, I could do this. Because that's going to be what we're doing that day. No. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just write it in. Because I'm better at that anyways. And then I should definitely put a checklist. Because I... We'll probably need to do something on the weekend that I need to make a checklist for, be it marking or whatever. I'll do it like this so it can be a longer checklist. And I'm going to keep track of some things over here. Just probably like mm, two. I'll we'll do three things. And then I'll do my meals here. And I'll do that with stamping. Because I've done that before. So that means I'll have to get out some inks to see if I have any inks that match these colors. It'll be interesting. One. Ooh, that one's really not straight, but whatever. Oh, you're going to hear me say that a lot. <laughs> but I think we all do say those things. 
all of us that make these silly little videos, because that's what they really are, is silly little videos, right? They're just silly little videos where we watch each other make decorative pictures in our planners. And it's so addictive and so much fun. And I actually really enjoyed making the videos. Alright, so now we're going to do dinners. Now, do I have... Hmm. I don't have another... I guess I could use that for the title. But that, yeah, that matches up. Cool. Cool. I'll have to write on it, but that's fine. And then it'll be there. Now I'm going to use... Oh, I think I could use one of my new stamps. Did any of my new stamps work for that? No. Oh, those aren't the planner. Hmm. Nope. Not really. Okay. That's fine. I'll do the other stamps that I have that I have in my um, up here. And I think I'll pause you. Well, no, I can always just cut it out. Whatever, that's fine. these guys and then I need to figure out if I have any colors of ink that actually go with this. So I need to get my ink swatch book. Which was all the way over in another place and I need to see if I have colors that match. So I probably do. Eh, not quite. This one? Yeah. So we'll go with surf blue. Then do I have oranges? I know I have oranges. Burnt orange is going to be too dark. Orange peel? No. No. It's going to be one of these more. And melon. Okay, so surf blue and melon. So I'm going to go get those. And these are stamp or colors from Simon Says Stamp. And these are Marion Smith planner stickers. So I'm gonna use just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, basically. And then number, 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 number. Got a little block to put them on. Some of these don't like the stick anymore because I use them too much. So Monday. Tuesday. Thursday. Friday. Where's my F? Friday. And then I need two S's. Saturday, Sunday. Yoo-hoo. Alright, so let's start with blue with Monday. Hmm, that's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Maybe stamp again, and the end is going to be lost, but I can always write it in. That's better. Okay. So Tuesday's going to be this. We need Wednesday. Double stamp the W as well. And then I need the Friday. That's fine. 
Trinity in the S for Sunday. Good. All right, so now let's do the Tuesday and the Thursday with the melon. So I'll close this up. That looks pretty cute. All right, we'll put these all the way. Might do more with those stamps though, because those are really awesome colors. They work really well. Put my stamps away because if I don't, I'm gonna lose them because they're so itty bitty and tiny. Husband's upstairs doing dishes and watching like abridged versions of Dragon Ball Z. So if you can hear random noises, that's him. And if he doesn't know I'm doing this, so if he comes downstairs talking to me, then you know you'll hear him. Uh, he's pretty good at not doing that, though, so we'll see. I'm in the basement. My crafting space, which is kind of a room, it's sort of the back of our TV room, is in the basement. If you're interested in seeing a tour of my crafty space, which, yeah, does anyone even watch this? Feel free to, you know, comment and let me know. Uh, let's see. I don't think I need to put anything else with this. Is there a dinner? No, I think that's good. Nope, oh, that's that sticker stuck to my stamps. And I'll put this in my stamp pocket. Hmm, I could use that, but I don't think I'm going to. Alright, so that's looking pretty good so far. The weekend's a little bland, but I can probably do something about that. We'll see. Now, do I want to use... I'm going to use some of these. So we're going to cut out... We've got to clean is in orange, so let's cut out the blue one. And I'm going to use my cutter bee scissors because I love how precise they are. And again, I'm not being perfect because I don't really need to be. And that can go there. And then to buy, I can use, is there a blue? Yes, there is. Ooh, I love it when I do this. I use this. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do about... Oh, no, I did meals, so that's good. I'm going to see if I have any stickers that I've bought from different shops that I could potentially use. I know I have baking stickers and planning stickers, but I don't know. Maybe my goals can be, like, online goals. Yeah, or to-do could be online to-dos. Who knows? Whatever. Uh, I have these little circles that I didn't cut out. I'll probably put those in my planner, so if things comes up, I can use them. I have these, which I'm not going to use because I used these instead. I'll keep them because I can use them, or I'll give them to students who would like to use them. Um, let's see. And I have all the little guys to put down. They're so cute. I think I'll put this little guy running. Here. Ooh. If I want to put him now, I'll put him here. He's cute up there. What else? I have the little guy with the butterfly. I've used him, so maybe I'll donate him. I have the little sleeping guy, which I didn't use, so I'll put him down there. By donate, I mean give to a student to use. Again, if you're a student watching this and you would like some of these little foxes and things, let me know because I'll give them to you because that's what I do, as you probably already know. And then I have this little guy who is so freaking cute who's just going to sit here, because why not? And let's see, this one hasn't been used anywhere. Maybe put him on Wednesday, because I think we have an assembly on Wednesday. Yeah, it's Mental Health Awareness Week here in Toronto for the TDSB, and I think maybe all of Ontario. Um, I just recently finished something for the school for decoration uh, with my cricket that a whole bunch of kids and I are doing. But, you know, that's that. And then I think that, hmm, this looks really boring to me right now. But, I mean, there's a lot going on this week. So, maybe when I write in it, I'll be happier with that. 
All right, so now as usual, I think I want to use colored pen, but then I don't because I just prefer black pen and I can't find my black pen. Hold on, I'll find it. It's probably up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, surprise, I put it away. So I use one of those Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner because I like them and they work really well for me. So I'm just going to put in a few things. So that's my new week. This is my new video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will probably have a lot more going on. I'm excited because once I'm done May and then June, I'm going to start in my new planner. And again, I'll probably have another video this week when I get my teacher planner. Woo! So I wanted, oh, let's put for goals, sorry. Uh, teacher planner video. Yeah. And I should also, well, well, whatever, that's fine. I'm sure I'll be adding more to this. Look for my Instagram to see the whole spread. I'll put a link to where I got this as well as my Instagram in the down box. Thanks for watching. If you like me and you like what I do, then subscribe. That'd be awesome. I love to meet new people, talk to people, whatever. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon with the other videos, maybe a card video, whatever. And now I'm rambling. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ow. I hit the light.